As you guys may realize, there has been some changes onto my channel. It is not called Drama Tube anymore. It is called Martin Lewis Resurrected because I'm not going to be doing drama anymore. You know, I just, it's just, who am I to be calling out these people, putting them in their plays? Um, making these bitches scared of me and stuff like that. Who am I to do that? So I decided that I'm not going to do drama anymore. And I know a lot of you guys subscribe to me because of drama. So, yeah. Psych! Ah! Of course I'm going to be doing drama, bitches. Clickbait! About time freely taught me something useful. Where you can insert garlic into your vagina overnight. But I do know you guys see the change and stuff like that, so... Uh, Martin, how is that possible when you don't own the channel? Doesn't that mean YouTube can kick you out? Oh my god, Martin, you're in trouble. You can't do that. I actually asked the owner of the channel because I still don't own this channel. I'm only the producer. Um... Oh my god. I'm gonna have to screenshot it to you guys, but basically, as the owner of the channel, can I please change the name from Drama Tube to Martin Lewis Resurrected? The owner said, yeah, of course you can. The owner says it's okay, it's okay, and as long as it's not as the same as before, it's okay, I think. It doesn't matter because I, I don't own this channel, you know what I mean? And um, I'm just the producer, so yeah. Seriously, I'm not gonna lie, I really love having my photo there, having the, this was my last thumbnail, DT, having that was kind of annoying, because people be like, who's DT commenting on my video? Ooh, you trying to get my D and some titties? Block, you know what I'm saying? They have this picture, everyone's like, hey, how you doing? So, you know, it kind of gets more attention, watch my subscribers fucking rise in the sky. But no, seriously, not only that, but I missed the intro. <laughs> Missed the outro and I was like, man, like, I'm the producer, I can change this, I just have to ask the owner, so, yeah. And it's really funny because some people have subscribed to me and they're like, oh my god, Martin, I'm so happy that you're back. Bitch, you didn't realize I was gone before? It's been motherfucking three months. They should follow you on Twitter! That person's right, maybe if you follow me on Twitter and stuff like that, you won't lose me. Speaking on that, this show is now family friendly. Um, I decided to adopt some kids to make this, you know, this thing a family-friendly show, and this is my first child. His name is G1X, so I need to say I'm a family channel so YouTube doesn't delete me. Just go along. New baby G1X, say hello. Hi, motherfucker! Shh, why are you saying that? This is a family channel, bitch! This is my second child. His name is Lid, so yeah, we're happy. Happy family together, and just stay in there, G1X, and jump on your brother's back. Don't do anything frisky. So yeah, this is a happy family channel now. No rude stuff anymore, YouTube. I'm here to stay. It's alright, guys. YouTube's automated. They're never going to realize my family isn't real. It has been like a serious boycott on YouTube, and this is kind of like a huge motherfucking drama that's going on at the moment. YouTube's... Coca-Cola, big other companies have pulled out because some ads appeared on like some racist terrorist videos or something like that. But besides that, can we just mention about the stupid strict rules that YouTube has? No violence? What about those people that play those video games? They always have violence in them. You're telling me Coca-Cola doesn't want their, their ad on there? Like seriously, these ads? I see them appearing on action movies on television when I was younger and stuff like that and on horror movies and on TV shows. So you're telling me all of a sudden because it's you, like who made that rule, that stupid rule? I think YouTube made that stupid rule up. Even people have been unsubscribing to other content creators and stuff like that. Some of my viewers are not even getting notifications and I think that's because some of them are underage and YouTube doesn't want you to see my stuff because you're a little kid and shit. Very cray cray and of course I am optimistic. I think that they might come back. It's not a good idea to put all your eggs in one basket. It's okay vegans, it's vegan eggs. A lot of YouTubers are gonna suffer because they're not making other streams of income, which is pretty bad. And that's why I have Patreon. Anyway, I have to free promotion myself. Check out this trailer.
Patreon, I basically put vlogs and personal stuff that I will not post on YouTube anymore. Why? Is because I want to replace the income that I'm making on YouTube on Patreon so I don't have to worry about censoring so much of my content. There's really good alternative news on YouTube and they're not getting paid and it costs a lot of money to run their shows, the producers, the cameraman and all that stuff. It costs a lot. So they've been opening Patreons and stuff like that so they don't have to solely rely on YouTube income and I think that's a good idea to replace the income that you're making on YouTube on something else so you don't have to be so fucking family friendly. Shut the up, Lid. I told you stop talking. Not only do you get access to vlogs that are mostly requested, like some people request me to, can you go here in Phuket and film that and do that? So I am working on those, which is really cool. Not only that, you also get discount 50% off All About Martina, which is my little show that will be coming out soon um, on Vimo Martina. And if you're a part of Patreon, which is only a dollar, you will get 50% off. And what's really cool, it's not like a locked in contract. You can always change how much you want to give. And the more you give, there's like extra perks and stuff like that. And of course, not everyone can afford a dollar because some people out there are on a tight motherfucking budget. Y'all, they're eating rice every day. I completely understand if you can't afford it, don't do it. And this all started because of freaking Wall Street Journal, man. They really hate us at the moment, all because of PewDiePie. It's all PewDiePie's fault, okay? They were attacking PewDiePie, and then PewDiePie wanted to get smart back and make a video. Next thing you know, boom, I, they took all the fucking ads away like shit. But you know what? At least Ty Lopez is still here. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. Fun to drive up here in the Hollywood. Wall Street really doesn't like us and a bunch of them are hypocrites too. There's more to the story but I ain't gonna get into that. A lot of people are angry at YouTube. They're like, it's your fault, it's this, why you have all these stupid rules and we can complain all day but at the end of the day, it's not our format. It's YouTube's format. You know what I mean? So we kind of have to take responsibility and make other streams of income and we, you know, not just to rely on YouTube because any day YouTube can just decide that they don't want to pay us or they're only going to pay YouTubers that have over 100,000 subscribers. I would totally, we would totally be screwed if that happened. A lot of small YouTubers will be gone. Even Paul Lux is getting people to give money to his PayPal. And he's not even freaking working for that money. He's just like, give me money everyone and they're dumb enough to give it to him. Work for your shit and earn your shit. Okay, unless you're poor, unless you're in a really bad situation and I've been in a bad situation before, you guys knew what happened when my channel went down, I still worked for my shit, you feel me? Anyway guys, I thought I'd just give you my thoughts on the whole boycott thing, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Salute and peace.